Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what idiots would want to be in this thing? Let's see, Yosuke Hanamura... ME?! Wait, and Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here too! Wow, there's a lot of contestants. Didn't we only get like two people last year? I heard this year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. Well, that's not cool. Hey, but what if they did sign themselves up? Ew, what a disturbing thought. Seriously, that's really wrong. Someone else signs you up? It's them. They must have done this. A damn good explanation for this. For what? For what, my ass? For signing us all up in the cross dressing pageant. It was you, wasn't it? Oh, that thing! Rise chan started saying, let's all have fun with this, so I didn't really have a choice. And Kashiwagi seems happy too now that there's more people involved in it. You little. This is cross-dressing! Cross-dressing! Well, you're the one who started it! It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right! That's beside the point. Don't worry. We'll make you absolutely enchanting, okay? That's not what's important here. It's about a man's pride, damn it! Whoa, are you serious? Yeah, yeah, this has nothing to do with pride or any of that. You know already, right? Once someone signs you up, you can't back out. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. There's no way she's gonna listen. Why are you giving up? I ain't doing this, period. Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. You are a scary gal. You know that, senpai? Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Risa chans with us too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. You're positive we'll be pretty? I guarantee it. Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. There's nothing manly about being a woman. I seriously refuse. Kashiwagi's sure gonna get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji-kun can be classmates next year. Why is this happening? We all end up in the same boat without our consent. What kind of joke is this? Uh, the exact same joke you pulled on us? If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it.
come in for a first-hand experience with group dating. Oh, this is so embarrassing. There's not that many people passing by here in the first place. I think we need some shills to drum up interest. Shills? Uh, who? Who else is here besides us? Isn't that kind of sad? Do we have a choice? We need customers to get the ball rolling. If there aren't many people passing by, we have to get the attention of the ones who are by any means necessary. But there's only five of us here. Yo, how's it going? I came to check up on you. Guys. Perfect timing! But now we've got four guys and two girls. Hey, you guys are cross-dressing tomorrow anyways. Why don't you can sit on the girl's side? What? I'm not gonna... Oh, you're volunteering? You never run out of surprises, man. Well, well, let's get started. Get started. Uh, you guys can start now. Uh, will someone we start? <sighs> He's really, really getting, getting into this. this. Actually, Actually, what the hell is this? A mock group date. Um, should I lead off? off? I, I guess, guess I'd like, like a cute, cute girl. girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, for, for me, me, um, I guess yeah, a girl that's kind, kind and sort of fragile, fragile you know? Someone, someone I'd want to protect. Um... um Man, this is, uh, um, yeah. Hey, hey, your turn, Kanji. Uh, well, I, 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 guess, I guess someone who's, who's kind of mysterious, mysterious and, uh, looks strong, but actually, actually kind of... Yeah, I really, I really wonder, wonder who you're talking, talking about. about. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Out, out of the three of us here, here. who uh, would you date? Would you date? Hey, I object to this line of questioning. Oh, don't oh, worry. worry. All right, All right. Let's, let's start with you, you Jason. Jason. Huh? Wait, um, uh, well? Uh, me? Who would I choose to take? Well, that's private. Isn't it? Okay, your turn. Who would you want to date? date? Whoa, way to get a go, Kanji. I mean, isn't he a perfect match for you? Oh, definitely not! You son, son of a! I ain't kidding you. If you don't so stop bringing that up, I ain't holding myself responsible. You got it? There, there, there. It's because you're so manly. Even guys can get behind that. Well, I am pretty confident that I ain't gonna lose to anyone when it comes to manliness.
You're back. back. Why are you guys just standing there? Come on, hurry up and sit down! Come on, Kankakuno! Over here! Don't worry, I won't hurt you. What about me? It turns, it turns out I'm entering this too. I must, I must win this contest to see my dream realized. He seems bored, so we signed him up as a last minute contestant. So you're making him suffer too, huh? Well, if he's been signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. Now, Kukun, can you lend us a hand? We'll leave the Eddie to you. Me? The Naruto Teddy team's unstoppable! Well then, um... First, I need some dazzling makeup. You're right, right. Then I'll go borrow a makeup kit from someone. Wait! The battle begins by choosing the right equipment! Bring it on! <laughs> so it begins. Ladies and gentlemen! We now begin the second day of a culture festival with the ever-popular Miss Yasunami Pageant! Let's get right down to it and introduce our first contestant! She shows a runaway sports train who's in a poor man world and can kill with both her physics and her looks! Presenting Kanji-chan of the first year class three! Someone like him sitting across from me on a train. Now, you look ready to win in that outfit. Do you often dress like this? Hello! Uh... Like, no way! Yes, 
as an honorary judge in that pageant. Woohoo! An honorary judge? That's one lame prize for what you gotta go through. Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy too. Yeah, he's like over the top innocent. Well then, Miss Teddy, how does it feel to have won the pageant and become a judge? <laughs> the long awaited day has finally come! I decree that one of the judging criteria later this afternoon will be. Ta da! A swimsuit competition! What the hell? Over my dead body? Aw, I didn't bring a swimsuit. That bear needs to be disappeared. Well, I doubt he has the authority to declare that unilaterally. <laughs> this is great. I love the direction this is going. Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. What is she, the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait, is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? Mr. Teddy dropped this off. He said that they're swimsuits. Hey, we don't need them! Ha 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 
<laughs> my mature charms will win the day. I brought my own swimsuit, of course. I brought my own, too. What's with these people? Hey, let's, let's not do this. What's that? Getting cold feet? Wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win. You call yourself an idol, but you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? <laughs> oh, and I suppose you think you're gonna take the crown, you little snoring pig! <laughs> snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brain's as rotten to boot. We went through hell because of you! That's it! Now I'm pissed! Oh, you're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. Let this be a warning to the others, too. Ugh. <laughs> you're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? Well, we did kind of run away last time. That's what I'm saying! We gotta stand our ground and get our revenge for that! How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? Yeah. Right, Risa chan Now, Jokun, we won't run from this, right? Huh? Me too? Why are you letting yourself be so easily provoked? There's no way! Absolutely no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. You're not going anywhere. But that's not all for the Culture Festival's main event. There's still more to come in the Miss Yasagami pageant. The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? Now for our next contestants, Miss Chie Sasanaka of the second year's class two. Come on out, Chie. Uh, um, I'm kind of shy and reserved, and my favorite food is pudding. That liar. It's steak. Thank you very much. Up next, another contestant from Class 2, Miss Yukiko Amadi! Hello, my name is Yukiko Amagi. Um, my family runs the Amagi Inn. If you ever find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Our hot springs are open to the public year-round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. <laughs> Alright, that'll do nicely. Next up, a very familiar face from the first year class two, Miss Rise Kujikawa. Hi, hi, my name's Rise Kujikawa. I haven't been in town very long, but it's a great place and I'm 100% thrilled to be here. So sorry that I'm not working as an idol right now. Rosette's gonna do her best, so I hope you'll all cheer for me. The real Rosette, ladies and gentlemen, in the flesh! Oh, thank you very much. 
Next is the mysterious transfer student of the first year's class one, Miss Noto Shirogane! Kanji, here she comes. Hey, shh, pipe down. I, I'm Naoto Shiragane. It's hard to believe I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. This is beyond my wildest imaginings. I. I really don't know what to say. C can I step back now? What? And with that, all six uniquely beautiful contestants are on stage! Now, let's have our special judge, Mr. Teddy, ask them some questions. I am Teddy, the honorary judge for this pageant. Please keep in mind that if you anger me, you will be at a disadvantage. Well, uh, Miss Chie, do you have a boyfriend? What? A Teddy, you... Ms. Yukiko, have you ever smooched anyone before? Huh? Stop it! Ms. Naoto, where are you ticklish? I beg your pardon? Can I stay at your house next time, Rise-chan? What kind of a question is that? <laughs> Anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all! Wait till you hear this! For the first time ever, this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition! And it's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here! We'll take a brief break while our contestants put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few moments. Sound like a dirty old man. Chie Senpai is cute though. I, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? This is great! Wow. Yukiko Senpai. She is exactly how I imagined she'd be. Coming out. Well, sad news, everyone, but Miss Nauto won't be coming out for this portion. Fine by me. The fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. Oh, well, I had a feeling that would happen. Too bad, Kanji. Huh? No, um, well, yeah, but don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? Yeah, you're right. Well, it's about time we voted. Who are you going for? A class act all the way. An idol's idol. Thanks for waiting, everyone! The results are in! Looking at the way the vote went, you guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite.
Lots of different opinions with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters! On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing! And so, there's a clear winner! Grand prize goes to... Miss Noto Shira Gunny! Her androgynous charm seems to have won most of the girls' hearts! We'd like to present Miss Noto with her award now, but... It looks like she stepped outside. She won, even though she dropped out of the last part! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Man, losing to Naoto... Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh well, I think it's enough that we beat those two hands down, senpai. <laughs> How could I lose a beauty pageant?! <laughs> Miss Kachiwaki, <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> no, neither can I. Oh, Hanako. <laughs> Miss Kachiwaki. <laughs> Ah, good thing we found you. I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? Thanks. Then I'm gonna get going. Have a safe trip! Yeah. You have fun too, Nanako. Okay, Dad. Hey, Nanako-chan, why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? Huh? 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 What did you just say, Yuki-chan? Celebration at your inn? Is that okay with you? Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so yeah. Hell yeah! I'm down! Can I boil eggs in the hot springs? Oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Can I? the night <laughs> hot springs you cut the flushed skins are you sure it's okay i mean isn't it still the busy season we've had fewer visitors this year there are some open rooms too oh okay might as well then man when was the last time i stayed at yukiko's place Oh, we're in different rooms. Well, duh. It's one thing if they were next door, but they're so far away. Yukiko said there weren't that many open rooms, so they're up on another floor. First thing they're going to do is take Nanako-chan to the hot springs. <laughs> is it one of those girls and guys together springs? I don't want to take more than one bath if I don't have to. 
Well, why don't we take a dip before we hit the sack? Yeah. By the way, what's up with this room? It looks pretty expensive. Oh, you thought so too. Normally a room like this wouldn't be open during the busy season. I was trying not to think about it, but you don't think something happened here, do you? Senpai? What are you all quiet about? Now that you mention it... Jeez, that freaked me out. You answer it, Kanji. What are you freaking out for? Hello? Oh, I see. Cool, thanks. That was the front desk. Said the hot springs should be pretty empty right now. Wow, Amagi in. Great service. I broke out in a cold sweat. Oh, come on then. Let's go wash it off. I can't wait to take a bath with everyone. We'll all face the same way and wash each other's backs. And we're gonna sing songs while looking at Mount Fuji, right? Man, everything on this side is so fun. It's all thanks to you for bringing people over to my side. Thank you, Sensei. here Son? Come on, <laughs> just get inside. <sighs> Jeez. Oh, I see. So, the truth comes out now, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh. What? What's gotten into you all? <laughs> <laughs> really is smooth. You're so lucky. You have such fair skin and silky hair. No unneeded body fat either. Hey, where are you touching? Um, Nanako-chan. Um, 
Are you okay with staying over at someone else's place like this? Aren't you scared? No, it's lots of fun. At home, I'm always alone until Big Bro comes back. Oh, I, I see. But I'm good at staying home alone. I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. Wow, I bet he's so proud of you. Hey, Nanako-chan, do you want to swim around? Can I? I've been swimming here since I was young. Do you still do it? Huh? Um... Why are you hesitating? Come on, let's race to the other side. Whoever loses owes everyone a fruit milk. I want lemon soda. Uh, what? Me too? Check out my dead man's float! Wow! You're good! Oh! What a giant spring! I'll show you all my teddy paddle! Ow! What the... Huh? You guys! Why are you guys here? they caught a glimpse. Oh, it's actually the guy's turn to use the springs now. I got the times mixed up. <laughs> Are you serious? Aw, oh, crap. I think we went too far with them. Uh, what should we do? Oh, it'll be fine as long as we keep quiet about it. This'll just be between us girls. Do you want to race again, Nanako-chan? Damn it! I checked again, and sure enough, the hot spring's supposed to be for men at that hour. They're so evil. Evil, I tell you! <laughs> I don't know why, but my head's all bumpy. <laughs> Those are lumps from the pails whacking you in the head. You got lumps, man. <laughs> hey, uh, guys, did you, uh, see anything? No. None whatsoever. Damn it. I lead a cursed life. Let's just go to bed. Hold it, senpai. Do you hear something? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I heard it too. D don't tell me. Is there one here? One here? W one what? Dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> this room! It's the one that announcer was staying in before she died. My mom was talking about it. Oh god, you said it! I was trying to block it out and you had to go and say it! So that's why there's talismans here. Yukiko, that witch tempted us here knowing full well! Damn it! First the hot spring, now this! We've been completely suckered! <sighs> oh, 
Oh, crap. There's no way I'm sleeping through this. I've made up my mind. I'm going to Yuki-chan's room. I can't sleep soundly unless I'm watching everyone's sleeping faces as I drift off. Sleeping faces? Are you going to sneak into their room? You can't be... <sighs> Hey, what should we do? Damn, that was fast. Dude, seriously, I can't stay here! Alrighty, it'll be a surprise awakening for them! Good morning, everyone! It's a surprise awakening! No, a surprise break-in! This is Teddy, reporting in! When did you put that on? I feel awkward without it, so I always bring it! Stop talking like that! Oh, check it out, a hairbrush! And it's got long strands of hair on it! You're really into this, aren't you? Damn straight! It's time I got revenge for the camp out. Hey, good point. All right, I'll get my revenge too. A, a toothbrush! Holy crap, my heart's pounding. But what about Nanako-chan? Don't worry. Nanako-chan is a magnanimous girl. Well, well, that's true. But try not to wake her up. She's not part of our revenge scheme. Finally reach the futons! They're fast asleep! Excuse me! Yuki-chan! I'm scared of the ghosts! Alright. I can do this too. It's time to prove I'm a man. Chie senpai be gentle! Huh? One, two... Where's the rest of the futons? Hmm? What's going on? Ugh. Sheesh. Ugh. Oh, my! So that's all you guys are. Ah, uh, you should have said so. Mmm, such naughty boys. <laughs> ah! Be gone! Holy crap! D don't touch me! We were crying our poor eyes out until now, you know. We thought there were no men who appreciated our beauty. All right, boys. I'm all yours. And not a word about this to anyone. <laughs> Come here, tiger. Great. I love, love, love being able to take a bath anytime I want. How's Nanako chan? Fast asleep. Hey, did you know Miss Kashiwagi and Hanako san were staying in the room next to ours? Those two seem to get along really well. I'm surprised. They come and stay here now and again. Usually, they come to cry when something breaks their hearts. Huh. I guess they were really devastated from losing to Nautokun. Please don't bring that up again. Well, they do make a good team.
I could count on you to pick up? You're free today, right? Can you give me a hand here? I'm begging you! The Halloween fair starts at Juness today. We're nowhere near ready! We have the decorations, but I can't find the floor manager, and I have no idea who to ask for help! You're the only one I could think of! Please, I'm begging you! Yes! I owe you one, partner! Okay, I'll see you at the food court. My back hurts, but I'm finally done. <laughs> well, this place is practically my backyard after all. Oh wait, you're done too. But man, that costume's a good fit for you. It's so natural on you that it looks like your everyday outfit. <laughs> what kind of boast is that? Anyway, you are a lifesaver. Thanks. Then again, as long as he's here... It, it looks like he's having fun. Guess he's like our store mascot now. Huh? Hey, uh, Yosuke-kun, uh, what's going on here? Oh, there you are! These are the decorations for the Halloween fair. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Yosuke Kun. That got canceled a while ago. What? Hmm? I uh, thought you were there for the morning meeting when they announced it. <laughs> oh, well, maybe you were still groggy since it was so early. Well, I'll be counting on you to clean this up. This, this is amazing, though. Did you two uh, do all this yourselves? If you're gonna work this hard, maybe we should have gone through with it. So stop looking at me like that. You're only making it worse. Today. Now for our next story. Mr. Kozai of the Environmental Concern Society visited a local elementary school to investigate the effects of the fog. Thick fog has appeared frequently in Inaba over the past few years, and the cause of it has yet to be determined. There's been much conjecture on the origin of this fog, and some are concerned about its effects on the human body. Town officials believe it highly unlikely that the fog could be harmful. One official suggested that the concern is largely tied to public anxiety in response to the recent murders. On hearing about the phenomenon, Mr. Kozai visited the local elementary school to investigate its effects. He interviewed the children playing happily in the fog, about their health and any anxieties they were facing. Oh! That man came to my school. Upon completing the investigation, Mr. Kozai issued a statement. In this day and age, one must stay aware of even slight changes in the environment and react politically. Today, I talked with a young student who spoke her own mind, free from the influence of those around her. It was an attitude and an example that we as adults can learn from. Our primary concern should always be to protect these children's futures. On that note, Mr. Kozai ended his statement. The assembled parents applauded, but some raised concerns that it was a show to attract voters in the next election. <gasps> My head hurts. Bro, are you going back home in spring? 
It's going to be winter soon. If it snows, can we make a snowman? We can play a lot. Let's play all the time until spring. <laughs>